Glenn, how you doing? This case is huge. Yeah, you know what? This is, this is, I call this a backbreaker, but it's a good thing, because what's inside is really You're cool. You're gonna be shocked when you see this. And this is one of the Korean-made BC Rich 612s. And these are really cool guitars. So you know a lot about BC Riches, I and do. now Neil Moser designed did the original. This. He designed the guitar he and the electronics. He designed the bitch on his girlfriend's living room floor at the time. His girlfriend oh, wow. in Glendale. He designed it on her living room floor. And then Bernie Rico started building it BC Rich. What Bernie. year was the first uh, double neck BC Rich I don't know what double, neck. double neck would have been you know late 70s early 80s I'm not sure the exact year on the double neck uh -huh. um, but the bitches 78 they were working on the bitches um, 79 I think Joe Perry's and Brad Whitford's were 79s but they're crazy good guitars and when they did these they did the clouds which you know they're not exactly like the clouds on the original BC Riches one of the things that I like um, is they put the quadmatic bridges on these things. And I think oh, that yeah. Let's look at these the quadmatic bridges. bridges, I really like. Some people don't, but I really like them. I had uh, uh, an 83 with a brass quadmatic on it. I loved it. And I do like the quadmatics because they're easy and cool to deal with. I believe Gary Kayla and uh, Neil Moser designed this bridge together. Um, it's kind of cool. Yeah. And what you got is here, of course, you got your three position switch. Okay. Volume, volume, tone. For the six string. For the six string. Yes. This is selects lower neck, top neck. This is, is the, the three way right. for the twelve string. This selects okay. lower neck, top neck. This is the three way. Yes. For these two pickups. Right. Volume, volume, tone. You don't have any actives here. Um, and this guitar, when they came out. A lot of people bought them, and a lot of people didn't care for them as much, but now they're getting to be where people want them. Right. Um, it's a lot cheaper than going to BC Rich and having a double neck made, or going to Neil Moser and having a double neck made. What do they call this style of These are tuner? Grover Imperial tuners. Okay, when it has Grover this, Imperial. This key head, that's called an Imperial you tuner. You can get a good look of them right down here. Yeah, it's got quite a few. It's got uh, a lot of money just in tuners on this guitar. Um, and this is Korean made. Um, it's done at World Guitars. Um, this is a nice guitar. These guitars were just a bomb. And, and to be able to get a double neck for under 10 grand, pretty darn good. Neck through? Yeah, neck throughs. And a bitch is a bitch is a bitch is a bitch. A gun. <laughs> you thought I was going to say as this son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> what, what kind of wood is in the... You... Um, these are maple and mahogany. Maple, so just the little stripes are mahogany. Yeah. Right. So a big, that's where all that weight and is. Rather, so rather the, than stringers, uh -huh. they actually painted the stringers in. Oh. But it's a cool guitar. It's a that's very cool guitar. That's why it's so heavy, it's all maple, huh? Yeah. That's a heavy son of a dog. You thought I was going to say a son of a bitch, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, it is. If it was mahogany, it'd be a lot lighter. Now, I just got this guitar a week or so back, and I haven't changed any of the strings. Yeah, these, like you said, these here Those give you toe man poison. Those strings bad. Do you, do you want to help me change some strings? Yeah, let's get some strings for All somebody. All right. Before somebody plays it and gets blood poison when it breaks. <laughs> right. here. To clean the fretboard and frets. You can see these are really shiny, and they get kind of dull here. So we're going to just go along with this little cloth and real quickly watch this fret here. Okay. You can see how dull, kind of dull it looks. And you might think it looks cool, but what I'm going to do is rub it a little bit. Let me add that blue rag there, Dane. Okay. Now watch the magic happen. That's how, that thing was all oxidized. Watch this. Just like downtown, huh? Today, string choice, is there any ball? Super slinky nines. All right, so what we've done, just like the old Leo Clons, the only thing is you don't wrap over, go this way and wrap over. Uh -huh. They go in through the back. And this is a quadmatic bridge. I really like them. They're stable. The Can we look at the back of it for a second? What's it say on the back there? It says, BC Rich, made in Korea, patent applied for. Nice. And the quadmatic bridge, Neil Moser and Gary Kayla worked on these back in the day, and they, they were trying to design a bridge that would be real cool, and they did. I like these bridges. I love them. 
All right, guys, so here I am sitting with this BC Ridge double neck. It's got a 12 string on the top. It's got the six string down on the bottom. This is the switch here in the center that takes it up to the 12 string. Let's give this thing a little tiny listen. I'm in a Hughes and Kettner Black Spirit 200. Let's see what this sounds like. Take it down here. Let's go into the sixth string and see what that sounds like. Put a little bit of crunch on it down here. Let's hear this. guitar it's a lot to wrap your head around all this stuff let's go back up into the 12 string let's go back to the clean for a little bit so again man big props to you know, Jimmy Page, I know he played the uh, Gibson, but big props to Lita Ford. I mean, what a badass woman to play one of these things live on stage, you know, for all those tours that she did. Super impressive guitar. I mean, way out of my league, right? But it's a fun guitar to have. It's not much of a wall hanger because you can't really hang this thing. You probably could set it right here. I have seen some BC Riches and they put little rubber nubs on the bottom of each one of these horns. So that's probably a good idea. But uh, so guys, just a nice little video so I can show you guys this BC Rich that came into the shop. So there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. String the top end, she's waiting on the strings to come in. But we'll run through it for you. Okay. 